Richter scale measures the amount of energy released by an earthquake. Seismograph readings can tell the amplitude of seismic waves and the distance from the epicenter. However, Richter scale is only accurate on up to magnitude 6 due to various factors. Large earthquakes often release low frequency motions that don't get detected as much. Large earthquakes also release energy for a longer period of time. This results in a longer duration, but not necessarily higher amplitudes. Large earthquakes have a more elongated fault rupture area. Notice how shaking here is stronger despite being further away from the epicenter. This is where moment magnitude comes in. Moment magnitude is accurate even in large earthquakes. Moment magnitude is found by finding out the size of the fault that ruptured, how much it moved, and the material of the rocks next to the fault. Seismographs, accelerometers, GPS stations, satellite imagery, and looking at the fault live on person can give digital information. So is the Richter scale obsolete then? Not really, it's still rather useful for smaller earthquakes. Mercalli scale and its numerous variants measure the severity of shaking in a given area. This is based on accelerometer readings, eyewitness reports, and damage observations. A magnitude 8 earthquake can have a maximum intensity of just 5 due to its depth. A shallow magnitude 5 earthquake under a city built of unreinforced masonry is pretty much a disaster. The Mercalli scale goes from 1 to 12, with 1 being barely felt and 12 being total destruction. In Japan and Taiwan, the Shindo scale is used, and the Shindo reading of a given area can very quickly be determined based on accelerometer readings. The scale goes from 0 to 7, with 0 being barely felt and 7 being strong enough to damage slash destroy earthquake-resistant buildings.